Ladies and gentlemen, I am back, and this time I am joined by Cody Hawkins. And again, GCW was turned upside down here tonight, and uh, you didn't have a very good night for our the viewers here who are watching this on YouTube right now. Can you care to I explain what happened? Well, if anything, you know, I've been out of action for a little while, and what the problem was, you know, card was spilled. Couldn't really get any reaction, so I struck a deal with the owner, Mad Dog Mike. Ended up being the rain announcer for this evening. Unfortunately, things just went for the, for the worst, if anything. You know, I mean, first and foremost, if it wouldn't have been of a contract in this briefcase, Ryan, one of our sponsors for Crazy Kids and Tattoos, would have never been able to become general manager for this show. But what people fail to realize is, yeah, he's the general manager, but Mad Dog Mike is still owner of GCW out of there. Exactly, but I think the I think what I want to address here right now is the the situation that appears to be brewing between you and our heavyweight champion, Scotty Phoenix. To be honest with you, I'm just following what the general manager saying. You know, I was following rules from Mad Dog Mike as well as our all of a sudden general manager you know, and I can understand the feelings that Scott Phoenix is bringing because he was in two matches tonight you know two I mean he had a tag match with the guy he was going to take on for the world heavyweight championship later on this e uh, earlier this evening not by choice match. by the way not, not by, by choice. choice not at all you know, yeah be sure you guys out there know that this was a, a lethal lottery style match the, their names were drawn Random names. Mustang Mike drew Scotty Phoenix, and Phoenix drew Sweet Stan. Yeah, I mean, he was trying to, you know, try to be the one to pick somebody good. It was in his, he was hoping that it was going to be in his favor. You know, he chose Sweet Stan. And on the card, Mad Dog Mike still had Sweet Stan in a match against Scotty for the World Heavyweight Championship. He was entitled to his rematch clause. Scotty wasn't too pleased about it, and he came up to me, and he attempted, you know, well, yeah, actually, he really did nail me. He came up with a burn notice and kicked the uh, mic and bought me in the chair and stunned me a little bit, kicked me back, you know. I mean, it, it kind of got me infuriated. I actually had to have security hold me back because I was looking forward to getting in that ring, regardless of that heavyweight title match, that last man standing, and try to get my way with this because if anything, I've been, I've had the utmost respect for Scotty for the past two years I've been in this business. And for him to come on this show and me, I consider that a threat, you know. I've been nothing but respectful for, to him and the rest of his GCW roster. And part of my first, but I'll be damned if I get my face drug in the mud like that. Well, thank goodness I was able to get you to join me on commentary and, and cool off a little bit. I understand that, you know, tempers, tempers flare in the heat of the moment. I'm pretty sure that Scotty Phoenix right now could be, you know, feeling some regret, some remorse after what he did to you. Beats me. All I know is to be a heavyweight champion, you got to have your head straight. I'm not a world heavyweight champion. I've never been. But I am a two-time extreme champion. Two-time. And yes. I've understood what it takes to get through a match and then get pummeled at the end of it when the match is way past over. You know, this, this time, me being two years in the independent circuit, I've learned a lot. And I've also learned a lot about when it comes to emotions and having tempers flare. You know, I forgive them. But I'm not going to forget it. Okay. Cody, thank you very much for joining me. And I, I just hope everything works out, man. I hope so, too. Guys, I'll be back.